Well, July came and took the heat away. Hopefully it will bring it back someday. The heat that we had in June, the summer heat, all of a sudden disappeared. And uh, the past week we have been having a rather boring weather with uh, gray, uh, some rain in the afternoons. Uh, we had, uh, maybe the sun had made a quick peak, <laughs> uh, but it hadn't been kind of warm actually. Uh, so uh, I'm not going to say that it actually is a uh, heat record today uh, here, but uh, it at least has been something that um, kind of looks like a summer day. Uh, so at least I could have a t-shirt uh, and shorts. So, uh, but we're not here to talk about weather and my summer dress. Uh, we're here to talk about compilations. Uh, hello there, James Griffith. You had one of these interesting threads where you wanted us to show compilations, not by a specific artist, but uh, from a specific genre. Uh, and I guess also that rules out all of these uh, uh, compilation, monthly compilations with the greatest hits from the charts. Uh, like uh, now that was what I call music and so on. Uh, absolute music that we have here in Sweden. Uh, uh, we're talking special genres. Uh, the problem is that the past couple of years I've been uh, getting rid of a whole lot of compilations. Uh, but those are of course in mostly in those uh, greatest hits from the charts uh, albums. Uh, mainly out of space, uh, I have felt like uh, <clears throat> most of these songs on these albums uh, I already have on either an artist's album or as a 7 inch or CD single, whatever <laughs> year it is. Uh, and I felt then that uh, I don't need a compilation with that song one more time along with other songs that I also have on have on um, an album or, or a 7 inch single uh, then I could get rid of them but I have man spared those that are in a specific genres uh, with songs that I actually a lot of songs that I don't have uh, that I felt was um, needed to have actually uh, so uh, I can show them at least and there are, are actually uh, still a lot of them left. I haven't been culling away all compilations. Uh, so uh, it's, a little, it's a little bit more than 10, I can say that, but um, hopefully it will be entertaining. Soul, a real 70s soul. Uh, I have this uh, in this is, uh, Philly. Philly uh, Philadelphia uh, released a compilation called Feel the Sound. Uh, there were a series of these, and I have two of them. Uh, Feel the Sound, the fantastic sound of Philadelphia. Uh, you have all these great, you have of course TSOP, MFSB, the theme from Soul Train series, uh, OJ's Billy Paul, Three Degrees, uh, Hal Melvin, Billy Paul. Uh, all these classics and it was followed up by of course Philly Sound Volume 2 with these artists and if we have a Philly of course there's gotta be a Motown also Tam Tam Motown 2 I don't have part 1 yet uh, and here we have Steve Wonder Supremes Temptations, Commodores, Marvin Gaye. Uh, and what about this fantastic CD compilation of Mootown 40 Forever? I guess it was released uh, for Mootown's 40th birthday. 
this is a two disc CD set with songs from the 60s all the way to the 80s. Uh, Smokey Robinson, Martha and Wendellas, uh, Marvin Gaye, uh, Jackson 5, Steve Wonder, uh, Gladys Knight, Temptations, uh, Diana Ross and the Supremes, Lionel Richie, Jermaine Jackson, Rockwell, you name it. Uh, I bought this pretty cheap. I think I paid four dollars for it uh, at a thrift store. And you have some history also, of course, of Motown. So this one, you can find it highly recommended. I'm not the fan of 60s soul, not that big fan anyway. But this compilation is actually really, really great. Highly recommended. And from Soul, maybe the step isn't that big to uh, House, House Soul, uh, early, late 80s, early 90s dance music. Uh, what about this? Pump Up the Volume is another CD compilation with two CDs. Uh, classic club sound from the late 80s and early 90s. Really great one. And here we have Mars, we have uh, CNC Music Factory, uh, Express, Incognito, uh, Felix, Beatmasters, uh, Crystal Water, Snap, D Mob, Hit House, Shame and Bomb the Bass, Nomad, you name it. All the greats are here. Uh, but before that, we had a series also uh, released on Tailstar called Deep Heat. Uh, I don't know that much about this series. I think it was released uh, every now and then. This is Deep Heat 89. Fight the Flame. Uh, I have uh, I think four, three or four of these. Uh, I keep it because there are songs here that I actually don't have that are really really great. Uh, the problem is that it also contains a whole also among they are mixed with the radio uh, versions that I do like uh, and a whole lot of also remixes uptown mix the latin dream mix and so on and a uh, hip a hip appella mix and as you know I'm not all that much fan of mixes. So uh, but fun to have anyway it's a special and nice looking compilations. I have spared them for now at least uh, because there are songs that I don't have that are really great. And here we have a, a guy called Gerald, a diva, Cold Cut, S Express, uh, Lisa Stansfield, uh, Stacker Juminoid uh, and many others. Great, great stuff here. S Express. Moving from dance to different kind of uh, 80s uh, new wave synth pop uh, I don't have all that much because that is a genre that I have a lot of uh, seven inch and uh, artists albums so I don't need uh, uh, that much compilations in that genre but this one is the one that I have kept one because it contains some stuff that I don't have and two on nostalgia reasons because I bought it uh, back in around 1994-95 uh, and uh, the period when I listened a lot to 80s and I was so happy to find this and I listened to it a lot of times back in the days. Rock 85 English style and um, these are British artists China Crisis, Icicle Works Stephen Tintin Duffy, Fiction Factory, uh, Fruits of Passion, all of these artists with some songs that a lot of these you don't find on com regular compilations all that much. Uh, an interesting thing is Fiction Factory, uh, as much as I love Feels Like Heaven, it's not that song that they have included here, it's something called from the, Fanta from the Fantastic album throw the warp wheel out, uh, called uh, Not the Only One. Uh, 80s disco, Italo disco, Euro disco, uh, 
there are a lot of compilations with. I don't have all that much with them. I have some on CD also, but uh, the, the most popular one is uh, this one. Uh, th this series, Italo Disco series, is one of the more popular ones, released on ZYX. Uh, two album sets. Uh, I guess you American won't understand one bit of the artists that I mentioned, but uh, we have Spagna, we have uh, Miko Mission, Scotch, uh, we have Dan Harrow, Ken Laszlo, uh, Cyril Pelosi, Mozart, no, not Wolfgang Amadeus, but an Italian artist called Mozart. <laughs> uh, so, uh, it's pretty interesting. I don't have all that much of them though. Uh, one because they also contains a whole lot of remixes and two that uh, some of these Italo disco songs that never became hits uh, you can understand why because they ha don't have that this strong melody as many of these so uh, Italo songs uh, Euro disco songs is supposed to have uh, then we have I must show this because this is a little cheesier version but I have it because it's pretty funny. <laughs> uh, so uh, a little, uh, call it sexual oriented cover sleeve. Uh, as you well know, sex sells. Uh, and the a label called Tanga label. <laughs> you understand why it's called that? <laughs> uh, um, decided to do this gimmick on the record says a lot here what kind of music it is. Uh, not until you turn you realize that it is Italo Disco. And it's this label called Tanga label. They actually put a <laughs> woman's underwear uh, gimmick on it for it. And uh, if you see if you see this standing in the shelf, you don't buy it because of the of the Shanger, because you don't know what Shanger is. They haven't mentioned one bit what it is. <laughs> So, uh, but it's fun. It's actually fun to have. As you know, I, come, I, I collect stuff that where you wonder what ever did they think of this. <laughs> uh, now, I also, of course, have picked out a huge pile of jazz compilations. Uh, I'm starting with a CD, I think. Uh, there were a jazz program here in Sweden called Smoke Rings with uh, a legendary radio host, uh, jazz fan, uh, uh, called Leif Anders Anderson. Uh, he was called Smoke Rings, and he had this very raspy voice. Uh, but that, and that program was legendary. It's one of the, if not one of the most, if not the most uh, longest running program in Swedish radio in history lasted for from the late 60s until his death in 99 but he didn't only do that program he also went over the border to norway and broadcasted in norwegian radio uh, and broadcasted then with a norwegian jazz uh, host called knut borge but he wasn't no, uh, only a jazz host he also hosted uh, television and other stuff but he also he was a huge jazz fan uh, and these two i heard it once on uh, foreign radio on this uh, middle wave that you could hear uh, on <laughs> other places on the swedish radio i he heard some uh, and now it's uh, you could uh, find some of the on the internet if you search but they also uh, released close to uh, Knut Borges death in 97, 96, 97 I think he died. They released a compilation uh, with typical songs from their sh radio shows in Norway. Uh, and uh, they, they uh, do an intro in the beginning where they actually introduce uh, the CD, which I think is a nice touch actually. But otherwise, it is just songs. It's not a 
uh, made up radio show for CD and you have a typical uh, swing music here uh, with uh, Ellington of course because uh, Smoke Rings Anderson was a huge Ellington fan uh, Fletcher Henderson, Gene Krupa, uh, Sidney Bechet, Jimmy Lansford, Lou Armstrong, Benny Goodman and so on Stan Kenton, even my favorite Boyd Rayburn uh, so really great compilation that I cherished the most and we have this I bought in Stockholm uh, this is the sound of Harlem volume 1 and we have uh, Harlem bands not the most famous ones though which I think is one of the reasons why I bought it uh, we have Benny Morton and his orchestra, Alex Hill and his Hollywood Sep Sepians, Teddy Hill and his orchestra, the only one that I heard of, uh, Six Men and a Girl, and the girl is Mary Lou Williams. So, uh, very interesting compilation, and we, we're into a part of odd jazz compilations. We have this uh, that I've shown when I bought it, jazz and hot dance in Spain uh, 1919 to 1947 and this is yes a compilation with Spanish jazz bands uh, Spanish jazz orchestras uh, and uh, I'm a little bit of fan of these where you, you can uh, listen to how Jazz in the most popular days, in the 30s, 40s and 50s, sounded in other countries. Uh, and in Spain you have names like, pardon my horrible Spanish now, but Por la Orquestra de Monjas, or why not uh, Quinteto Saratoga, uh, Orquestra Martin de la Rosa, Orquestra de Mon Sexteto de Hot. <laughs> very, very interesting compilation and this is also a very special one women of jazz women in jazz uh, stash records uh, and uh, this is recorded from the 40s mid 40s 45 and 46 with uh, only women uh, bands only with with women in the 40s there weren't all that uh, much of them uh, because females in uh, jazz were normally put to uh, sing, refrain singing, uh, like Ella Fitzgerald, Helen Humes, uh, Billie Holiday and so on. Uh, there were some pianists, of course, Mary Lou Williams and so on. Uh, but here it, it actually is uh, all female bands from the 40s. We have the New York scene in the 40s, from Bebop to Cool, released on this CBS series that is very interesting. Uh, my French. Amis vous le jazz. See here, this Gillespie, you have uh, Claude Thornhill, uh, Chubby Jackson, Sarah Vaughan. Really, really great one. And jazz, more jazz of later dates. Uh, what about this double LP compilation from Pablo Records? Norma Grants presents Pablo Collection, specially priced double album. Uh, Ella Fitzgerald, Dizzy Gillespie, Oscar Pearson, Duke Ellington, Zutzims, Roy Elrich, all the great ones. And finally, some Swedish compilations that I think is among the best compilations I do have. Uh, we have this swing, Swedish Svenska Swing Epoken, the Swedish Swing Era, 1935 to 39. A compilation that was released in the 60s in three, a series of three albums. And this one that has been Grammy nominated and that was 
is extremely highly uh, regarded. Svensk jazz history, Swedish jazz history. Uh, I think there were 11 or 12 volumes. I have 10 of them in different <laughs> on vinyl and some on CD. But the vinyl ones I picked out the four first. Uh, this is number one, twenties. Uh, this is number two, the hot era. Number three, rhythm and swing. And number four, Beredskop's swing, which is uh, songs from the World War Two. So, this one is amazing. Not only because they are. Uh, great jazz, but also because they have managed to dig up those totally unknown uh, stuff recording on lac records uh, private recordings that no one has heard and put them on this uh, Among with of course radio recordings and normal stuff that you can find on, on albums. So it's really everything almost so I hope that you have enjoyed my walk through uh, my compilations. Uh, I have a whole lot of uh, videos to do. Uh, there are some great ones that I need to do. I'm going to do Rob Walker's uh, comparison between different artists. Uh, and I also there also is a tag out there with 41 questions about yourself. I'm going to try to do response to those two. Uh, so until next time, take care everybody and so long.